Hey guys, what's going on? So today I am camping. So I got my tent set up already. I kind of skipped that process. This is my setup though. I'm working with a fire pit here in the back. Uh, I already have some firewood. Uh, someone actually left that there. So that's pretty cool uh, and pretty nice of them. Uh, I've got the, the table here and then the rest of this gear right, right there. That's, that's all mine. So some of you may be wondering where I am and I'm actually in Baxter State Park. That is in Northern Maine. And it's one of the more remote places you can go in Maine. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> but to kind of give you a little details as of where I am right now, I'm in Trout Brook Farm. It's near the Madigan and Gate, and I'm in, uh, well, let's take a walk over. It's not too far away. Um, you'll have to forgive me that I'm recording on my phone. I'm trying something a little bit different. Uh, yeah, so if you see, I'm in lot 18. Uh, I've camped here before in the past. These bugs, these bugs, I, these bugs are going to drive me crazy. Uh, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, stay tuned with me. I'm going to be cooking later. I'm going to take a walk down by the, the water. So maybe see something interesting. I didn't actually bring my fishing pole. So unfortunately there'll be no fishing tonight or tomorrow, or until I leave. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the bridge right now. Um, nothing crazy really happening. Uh, it's beautiful though, here I'll show you. Give me a sec. Just look at that. You can actually, over here to the left, you can actually rent canoes and then you can go right down the water. Or if you really want, um, you can go this way. Uh, but this is the bridge to the walk-in campsites. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the bridge itself, the bridge itself is very wobbly, but it serves its purpose and it leads out to the freeze out trail camp sites one through three. See that little guy? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Oh man, there he goes. So anyways, man, isn't that pretty? That's just incredible. Okay, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a tour. Um, starting with the tour, you st where you buy the wood. Then right here on the right, you have the park ranger station. That's uh, where the ranger lives uh, for this particular campsite. Okay, so just in case if you guys were wondering, this is a group area, uh, or a group tenting area, and they've got a couple of them. They've got, well, they got this one, they've got one way up there, and then they've got a couple around the corner. Uh, I won't show you the ones around the corner just because there's people in them, and I don't want to disrespect their privacy, but this is Troutbrook Farm in a nutshell. So we're just going to skip out on cooking on the fire. Um, and we're just gonna cook right on the portable stove. It's pretty easy to connect up. So what you do is you connect these two pieces to prevent the wind. And then over here, you connect this bad boy, bad boy in, um, somehow. There we go. So you pop it in just like that and then twist you can leave it just like that take everything and push it back these propane tanks last forever it seems like I have not gone through a single one I think to be honest so we're gonna put you there and double check So we got a secure connection. And we are rocking and rolling. Cool. So I'll let that warm up just a little bit. So yeah, let's cook. <laughs> so on tonight's menu for dinner is gonna be the Angus steak, premium choice beef, New York strip, steak thick. 
So, yeah. So, we're going to have some beef. And if you're going to go camping, you have to have beef. Um, as a vegetable, you're going to have some canned corn. I, I went lazy on that. And then I went super lazy and I actually got instant mashed potatoes because I figured it would be easier than to bake one on the fire. You know, I'm not out here to starve to death and die. So sometimes I cut corners and I got easy mashed potatoes. And then, oh, and I'm gonna cook these up too with, with the steak. So it's gonna be a full meal. Right on the pan. Um, I didn't bring any seasoning because I forgot it. And I forgot to bring something to spray on the pan. But since it's a skillet, I think it might be okay. Uh, I guess we'll see. So you'll see, uh, wow, that stays on there, nice. Um, I'm gonna get the fire started on this side and start boiling the water. And as I do that, I'll bring the corn over and this stuff. Oh man, I don't think I can cook on this pan. So this one's sort of a non-stick pan. We'll cook on it. All right, I'm gonna throw this in now because it's cooking pretty quickly. Um, yeah, well, I'll save some of that for tomorrow. Um, I usually wouldn't do that, but... <laughs> okay, so the mashed potatoes are done. And the steak is almost done. I just have to put the corn on and warm it up. Yeah, there's some nasty chunks in there, but you know what? We'll be fine. We will survive. The corn on, probably a lot lower than that. It's just corn, doesn't need to be blasting. So I just checked the steak. It's not quite the way I want it done. So I'm going to throw it back on and let it cook for a little bit longer. Uh, corn's done. Everything else is done. Nah, now we're just waiting on the meat. Cook, damn it. Okay, so the steak is done. Looks burnt. <laughs> um, I did the best I could without any oil or anything like that so i'm super excited though for this steak i've been because you know, i don't thing is, is i don't usually eat a lot of beef so i'm so excited for this steak and you know we got the bit of a stir fry going on here with some mashed potatoes and then we got corn and it, that's not a bug it's just something from from this stuff when I, I i was just mixing so i promise you that is not a bug here maybe it's a bug no it's not so i'm gonna eat this and i will get right back to you guys Last night I didn't record anymore because there was nothing really happened. I just had the fire, sat by it, ate my food, and I uh, went to bed. That's pretty much it. 
Today I'm not going to record very much because it's it's raining, so I'm just going to be hanging out in the tent and maybe walk around the campsite a little bit. But besides that, um, if anything cool happens, I'll record it. I don't think anything will, though. It's supposed to be raining for the rest of the day into tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll tune you back in if anything interesting happens. The rain kind of has subsided, and I decided to go on a little bit of a hike. Um, it's 0.7 miles, and it's called Trout Brook Mountain uh, something TR. But um, it's a little rocky. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to climb up this little mountain. Let's see kind of what's it all about. It's only 0.7 miles, which is perfect for this rainy day. I'm actually turning back. I didn't make it to the end. Um, not, I think I took a wrong turn, to be honest, and I ended up going onto the trail that was 2 miles versus 1.7. Um, I'm just not that prepared for this hike. Uh, wearing the wrong shoes, I didn't bring any bug spray. Or I didn't even put any on when I left, so I'm being chewed alive. Um, which, usually I can just deal with, but they're, they're, they're getting pretty tricky on me. They're, uh, they're like flying into my arm sleeves and, <laughs> and uh, biting my hands. So, the mosquitoes are. But, um, yeah, and as you probably can hear, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining a lot. I did bring a rain jacket, I do have it on, but... It's just not worth it, especially if I slip and hurt myself. So, I guess the point of me in saying all this is know your limits. Really know your limits when you go out. Um, I really should have brought like a backpack, um, first aid kit, just a little one. And definitely should have worn different shoes and brought water. And, you know, if I get hurt out here... It's just me. There's no nobody's gonna be coming to get me anytime soon. So when you go hiking, walking anywhere, especially in a remote area, take these precautions. I should say um, it's worth it, and it's definitely worth not getting hurt and or dying over. Um, you know, just to take that extra time and bring the stuff that you absolutely need to make sure you have a safe hike or a safe camping trip. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish walking the rest of this trail and try to get out without hurting, hurting myself. Um, there's like rocks everywhere and it's super slippery. So I will tune you guys back in, um, in a little bit. Okay, so for a quick uh, update of my day at the campsite, not a lot has happened. It was raining most of the day, and yeah, um, I, I just started a fire right here. I'll um, switch that over. So there's the fire. Um, pretty much I'm just hanging out, and the only other thing I did today is I made some eggs and sausage and then I collected some firewood I had more times that by two and that's how much I collected and then I grabbed this big piece right there so that's been pretty much the day I've been feeding the fire collecting wood every so often um, but yeah no like I said it was uh, raining most of the day so it didn't really allow me to do a lot, so, but I'm okay with this. It's pretty relaxing. I've just been uh, drinking some water every now and then and nibbling on uh, the Nutra, Nutra Valley bars. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I will probably not pick up the camera again today. Most likely you'll, next time I'll see you guys is tomorrow, and it'll be one second for you. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. 
how's it going? Hope you guys had a good day. I had a pretty much a pretty boring day at the at the campsite. I do have neighbors now. They're really nice. Um, but besides that, nothing else new happened. Um, so I'm just gonna get ready. It's about ten o'clock right now. So I'm gonna get ready, go to bed, do all that stuff. I already cleaned up, um, brushed my teeth, all that fun stuff. Um, but before I go, I actually wanted to show you my my tent. So my tent's a little bit of a glamping situation. So it's definitely not like a primitive type of way to camp, but it's still pretty cool. <laughs> so I actually have LED lights built in on the top of my tent and it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. It makes life 10,000 times easier. I do have the, the O-ring or whatever you want to call it right here to hang. Uh, I can hang up a lantern if I choose to. And then there's actually another one right there. And then there's another one on the other side right over here. And that allows me to hang up a divider. So as you can tell, this tent is massive. I'm actually standing up in it right now. And then there's all my stuff down there. But yeah, so uh, I've got the LED lights, like I was saying, and the it's batter, it's battery it's battery operated by um, 4D, so D batteries. And then you got the the off, low, medium, and high. So I just wanted to share that real quick. Uh, I mean, this is just an Ozark tent. I think it was like 150 bucks or something like that. But still, pretty cool. I thought I'd share, you know, maybe if you're not really into camping, but you might want to try it, definitely recommend getting a tent like this or probably something smaller, especially if you're going to go as like one person. For one person, it's huge. I mean, it's nice to have the extra space, but um, but it's uh, easy to set up and everything. So, yeah, but <laughs> I'm standing on my bed right now. Uh, so good night, everybody. Thank you for watching tomorrow. I'm just going to be packing up. So I think this might be the end of the video. If not, I'll tune back in a little bit later. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. After I went to bed, I got up rather early around seven and well, I got up at like six 30 and then I ended up leaving by seven o'clock and just head straight home i was super exhausted i you know between the rain and everything it just wiped me out but as always thank you so much for watching today's video uh like subscribe do it all whatever you want to do thank you bye